hi there welcome back to the video and in this video I will going to show you the count function now count function is very straightforward and it can be used in both chart and script and we will see how we can use it in the script and then in chart because in chart I think it's very straightforward if you have not already used it but in script you know it's like little tricky and we will see how we can use it so let me go into the data over here over here we have uh, this data set now this data set if you see you have a lot of customers over here and this is a very simple data set as you can see you have customer product so this is the customer this is the product which is AA this is the order number which is 174 this is the unit sales which is 4109 and unit price finally 1659 so it's a simple order uh, data set for different customer different product and if you see in some of the cases like for this particular customer you have some missing values as well like the order number is missing and all so what I want you to think is let's say you have a need where you want to create a table where you want to get the customers who customer buy their respective order like how many orders customer have placed based on their order number value which is like one seven four so you want to count that okay so how we can do that is basically by creating a table so let's do that over here and uh, this is by creating a new table which is let's say count one or you can say order count or customer count and we can say load we want customer information so customer then we will use count and then count of order and that is order number all right so after order number you have uh, you have to create an alias or the give it a name which is uh, let's say orders underscore customer okay or maybe you can say count just to make it like more realistic and from where we are taking this table it's a resident of what temp so we will say temp and we need to group by because we are making an aggregation and whenever we make an aggregation we need to group the entire ex entire expression by the various dimension so right now we have only customer but let's say if you want customer and product both so group by will be customer and product both so right now we will just say customer and semicolon that is it and we will save it and let's load it so it's loaded and uh, if we go in the front end we will take customer and order customer count so let's go in the analysis and create a table in this table let's add it the customer right and let's add the measure which is or we can add the dimension itself because we have already done the aggregation so if I say dimension um, order customer count you get like three three for this customer two for finally divided if you have two so you get the count you can check this count with the help of the measure as well where you can I can in the front end specify the count function as well over here count of um, order number okay and let's click on apply so you get the same figure three three two two three three two two the only difference is that you get an additional tam over here and uh, in case of dimension it is not available because it is a calculated value so you are getting a total as well so this is a dimension which we already calculated this is a measure now uh, why why you may want to do that well in certain scenarios you want a pre-calculated value based on your uh, need of the dashboard another important reason why you may need that is because uh, it improves the performance in the front end so if there is a touch a calculation which you may need to use again and again or you may need to display again and again like a KPI or something you can create or you can pre-calculate it in the scripting part when you do the pre-calculation it is part of the ClickSense engine 
and it it does the engine does not have to do the calculation again and again so think like this you have, whenever you have to make any selection in the front end the value of count of order number will be updated because the expression or the calculation is happening in the front end and because of that the click engine will have to do the calculation not only this but hundreds of different calculation based on the number of charge the number of uh, expressions you are using in that case for each expression if it is doing the key uh, you know taking some time so you can think about how much time it will going to take whenever the data is increasing whenever the charts is increasing whenever your selection count is increasing so overall result in a delay of displaying the data and that's where we get the performance issues so in scenario like that you can see where you can optimize this with the help of pre-calculated expression like in this case we have done the order customer count which is the same thing in the front end now over here you have certain uh, you know uh, features like uh, you can have distinct clause over here so which is a distinct count and what it will do is if customer if there is a customer whose order is appearing twice then in that case it will not going to take that it will going to take only distinct order number let's see if if it makes any changes so load the data close it go to analysis so three three two so that means there is no uh, there is no duplicate order number so what we can do is just to check this for AA this first one order number let's make it seven so that is now seven seven five so right now if you see in analysis so it's saying unsafe changes so let's save that first so right now the count of Estrida is three but once we will do this change where we have the two similar order number the count will become what two right load the data close analysis and now the count is two so yes it does work all right so let's make it what it was earlier I think one it was if I'm not wrong and save it and the same distinct you can apply in the front end if I select this and count uh, FX and over here if you see it has the distinct clause it has the all and total and set expressions as well so all of these I have already explained in the previous video so no point in explaining them again but based on the need of your analysis that whatever expression whatever customization you want to make you can make it to the count expression so that's about it in this video i hope uh, you have gained some new knowledge today and let me know in the comments what do you think and i'll meet you in the next video the new topic